Hello friends. Today we will study winding of material on simplex bobbin. In the last lecture, we have studied that how to wind the material on the simplex bobbin. For winding the roving, it is necessary that both spindle and bobbin should rotate. Why both of them should rotate? So first point is why there is a need to revolve the spindle and plier because it is necessary to revolve spindle and flyer so that twisting is possible only if spindle and flyer are rotating. So it is necessary to rotate the spindle and flyer so that twisting is possible. Otherwise no twist in rowing is possible. And suppose if package is stationary then we will be getting only one turn per wrap in one circumference. So if the bobbin uh, diameter is 106 mm, then pi d equal to pi into 106 one mm. So one twist in 333 mm or three twist per meter. But actually we require 30 to 60 twist per meter. So in simplex generally one TPI is required means 40 twist per meter. So to twist and wind the rowing simultaneously, both spindle and bobbin should rotate in same direction. So then there are two options are available, bobbin leading or spindle leading. So today we will study uh, what are the basic principles of bobbin leading and spindle leading, which is better and why. For winding to take place, we know that pi dn of the front roller should be equal to pi dn of package. For small dnn, suppose it is for front roller delivery. So small d is front roller dia, small n is front roller speed. So this is the front roller delivery. So this material this length of material equal to pi d n is continuously coming from the front roller, which we have we have to wind on the package. And regarding capital D, that is package dia, and capital N is winding on RPM for winding the material. So there are two options are available. One is bobbin leading, another is spindle leading. In simplex, we are using bobbin leading principle. So in this case, capital N that is winding on RPM is equal to difference in speed of the bobbin and the spindle because bobbin is leading. So bobbin speed is greater and bobbin speed minus spindle speed is equal to winding on RPM. In ring frame, the winding on RPM, capital N is equal to spindle speed minus bobbin speed. That is spindle leading principle. So today we will study that why in the simplex we are using bobbin leading and why it is better. 
in this diagram we see that at the start of the dove the bobbin is empty and the diameter is approximately 4 inch and at the end the diameter is 6 inches it may be 6 and a half inch also so there is a difference in the diameter of the package at the start of the dove and at the end of the dove so we will have to take into consideration these changes in the situation right from start of the dove to the end of the dove so there are two principles flyer leading and bobbin leading in the flyer leading principle means flyer speed or spindle speed is greater than the bobbin speed so spindle speed is shown in the dotted line so in flyer leading spindle speed is greater and as the package dia or bobbin dia increases the bobbin speed goes on increasing but it is always less than spindle speed this is the principle of flyer leading in flyer leading spindle speed is always greater whether it is at the start or end of the dove. Now we take the case of bobbin leading. In the bobbin leading, bobbin speed is always greater than the spindle speed. And as the bobbin diameter increases, the bobbin speed is gradually decreased. So, this we can understand with the simple example. Suppose spindle speed is 900 rpm, bobbin speed in the start of the dove is 1100 rpm. Then, with the increase in diameter of the bobbin, the bobbin speed reduces from 1100 rpm to 1000 rpm at the end of the dove. But still, it is greater than the spindle speed that is 900 rpm. So, we can say in simple words that spindle speed is constant because twist in the material is constant. So, we are getting a constant delivery of the front roller, and for that roving material, we have to insert the twist. For this twisting, Spindle should rotate at constant speed because the delivery is constant and uh, twist in the material should also be constant. So spindle speed is constant. So as the bobbin diameter increases, the bobbin speed is reduced. So this is the principle of bobbin leading principle. Now question is there that why in simplex we are using bobbin leading principle bobbin leading is better in simplex because fewer break at the pressure arm when machine is started because spindle starts immediately but bobbin starts with delay in flyer lead roving in flyer lead roving would tear at the press finger and drafting faults will be introduced this means that if we see the gearing diagram of simplex then we will observe that spindle is getting instant moment whereas the bobbin gets moment through condrum and differential box after fraction of seconds so if we will use bobbin leading then we will observe fewer end breakage whenever the machine is started because spindle starts immediately and bobbin starts with delay if we will use flyer leading then what will happen flyer speed will be more and it will start first whereas the bobbin has not started 
in the start. So that will introduce drafting faults and we will observe more breakage whenever we will start the machine. So this case is observed whenever machine is started, we will observe more breakage in case of flyer leading. So that's why we are using bobbin leading because lesser breaks are observed. <coughs> Second point is in case of spindle leading, if rowing breaks, unwinding of the rowing starts in case of flyer leading because air resistance is more in case of flyer leading. One more observation is there that in case of bobbin leading, if the breakage occurs, then unwinding of the rowing is not a problem. Whereas if it is spindle leading, then if rowing breaks, then rowing will start coming out and that will entangle with the adjacent rowings and whole machine will be disturbed. And worker will also be disturbed. So, unwinding of the rowing is observed in case of rowing breaks if it is flyer leading. So, that is also an additional problem in case of flyer leading. Third point is that uh, we are having two options. Number in spindle leading the bobbin speed is increasing gradually and in bobbin leading the bobbin speed is decreasing gradually so speed reduction is logical in case of bobbin leading and advantages and advantages in terms of power this means that if we are having two options that with the passage of time we have to accelerate or with the passage of time we have to deaccelerate so Reduction of the speed is more logical and uh, easy rather than accelerating. So bobbin leading is better and advantageous in terms of power. So we can now conclude that if you will use the bobbin leading principle in simplex, then we will observe fewer breaks when the machine started, whenever we will start machine and breakages will be less if it is a bobbin leading simplex. Second, if during the machine running, if rowing breaks and if it is spindle leading, then unwinding of the rowing will be there, which will disturb the adjacent spindles also and create problem for the worker, for the production and for quality also. And reduction of speed is logical, then increase in the acceleration of the speed. So due to these reasons, bobbin leading is better. And in simplex, bobbin leading principle is used. So with this, We finish our lecture and we will continue 